So, uh, Ajit, Ajit Basu. So, you mean to say that even more than 90% of people, whether they are born in villages or in towns or huge cities, whether they are employed or unemployed, whether they are highly qualified or medium qualified, whether they are working in big role positions in huge organizations or otherwise, they all will inevitably, invariably pass through uh, their unique path of uh, life in which they will be um, forced to look at self-realization or enlightenment or some discovery of truth. That's yeah. what you said. Because as the life is seen as a possibility, mm. when the possibility opens up, mm. the counter possibility is inevitably opens up. Mm. The idea of counter possibility, the understanding that the counter possibility is there mm. and clear view of that on the other side, mm. which as everybody experiences and everybody is so scared to go there, uh, so this this possible this counter possibility opens up and somebody is thinking now shall I go the way the status quo goes the so-called society go or I should shift my path and jump into the other mode where I'm pretty sure that some some something is positive going to happen to me something beautiful going to happen to me some flowering is going to happen to me and everybody is uh, I don't I don't think majority of them even though they are exposed to this po counter possibility. They are not going to go there. They will not because that requires, I think, a certain push somewhere. Maybe a self-directed push or some critical velocity or something which happens at a moment where which pushes them. This push, you mean a kind of an inspiration, a kind of a guidance, a kind of a direction given by an external agent? Uh, external, internal, both possible. Uh, but there is some sort of an intervention, at, at, at least set in, in somebody's life, will happen. Uh, or if it happens, it happens. Okay. If I make it in a, in a, from a different angle, you mean to say that almost every individual passes through possibilities where they can become self-realized or they can realize the real nature of yourself, their self. Absolutely. That's what you say. Absolutely. Thereby they can escape from all kinds of confusions and vagueness and lack Absolutely. of clarity about existence. Absolutely. The most easiest thing when you actually really discuss or have a dialogue with an individual, every individual is, every individual is aware of this counter possibility and he is there, right there. And he is right there and that, that, that is actually ingrained in him or her, which is there. But the idea is shifting to that side. They think that it is not an internal manifestation. I'm, I'm, I'm not responsible. I cannot be responsible. I cannot do it. You know, because uh, because this programming, the so-called programming happens right from the childhood. It is, I think, some sort of an intuitive programming happens right from the childhood, right from the beginning of their life, or so-called external life. I think the entire world or society or whatever, they all work towards this one goal to keep, like somebody said, you know, society is a collective mindset to destroy an individual, you know, something like that. That can be correct. Now, I would like to come back to that point which you mentioned. You said, the, you used the word counterbalance. Ah. You used some other word also before that. Counter possibility. Yeah, counter possibility. So, this will inev invariably appear. So, according to you, with your interaction with a lot of people and you being a mentor to uh, uh, at least uh, uh, at least to close to 200 young people, you mean to say that there is there was counter possibility for every one of them? Each and, one of them. Possibility and, is 100%. And uh, the problem is in their managing their counter possibility. Problem is in their managing uh, of their counter possibility. Okay, yeah. what do you, can you clarify what is this counter possibility? For example, any time a force happens in somebody's life mm. or something is something is driving them mm. at, at, in one stage. Mm. A parallel, because as one gets revealed in one side, 
like da- light and darkness you know mm. the other possibility also get will get revealed because in this whole idea of balance and counterbalance the other side also will get revealed so every individual is believing that you know i'm going to perish one day i'm going to end one day and as death is inevitable and i'm going there age is coming and change is happening in the body and the so called setting all around me i also know that there is a possibility of uh, non destruction uh, and continuum and all that is also there in ingrained in me which i can get realized okay okay this counter po- the gravity or the power of this counter possibility to inspire an, an action in an individual uh, a and the power of the counter possibility in b will be equal in awareness this is connected to for example i am wondering about something a, a positive stuff or, or positive may not be a, may not be the right word but i am wondering about this counter possibility of peace and continuum and actionlessness and all that on one side more or less everything is dependent on the wonderer rather than my wonder you know because i am actually within me a, a thing saying so what is the most wonderful thing in this world the most wonderful thing in this world is the thing which is wondering likewise the experiencer of the counter possibility if i shift the focus to the experiencer and the experiencer is experiencing the possibility and the counter possibility and the experiencer is saying that i have the option or choice to shift to the other possibility and 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 every the locus the whole idea uh, centers around that particular experiencer <coughs> and i am inquiring around the experiencer and whatever manifesting as a possibility or counter possibility is happening around the experiencer and development of that emergence of that that's what the core thing is so <clears throat> uh then perhaps i would say maybe for I, i don't feel like believing your statement that every individual goes through a potential path of variation of counter possibilities counter possibilities i don't feel that because in, in this case at least a good majority of them would have come across the possibility of turning around that counter possibility to discover that uh, simple point okay Uh, now so i feel that if counter possibility of day time is night is it also possible that majority of the people sleep in the night similarly they they they, they close their eyes to the counter possibility possible the the trigger which we are discussing about earlier hmm. that awakening something that that uh, uh, a trigger or, or an impulse to awake get awakened hmm. actually that is going to awaken the experience who who can be there in bo- both the cases right but uh, what i am saying is that in everybody's life this both are available and he has this is only said when you talk about the free will Ag- agree agree my question is the, the degree of force or gravitation force so the power of this counter possibility and uh, running status quo is it the same in power in inciting a person into action you know where's the counter possibility faced by socrates or tagore or chinmayananda huh? is it the same as the counter possibility felt by an average highly educated uh, um, uh, guy working in a multinational corporation i cannot per se talk about no i say the, this the, from the, 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 the the measure in which it exists in each and every one hmm. but i would rather with my limited experience i would rather say that in everybody the possibility of awakening is there that and ex- it's very simple and easy hmm. it's nothing great about it and uh, whenever i talk to you see i can only talk about the level in which i got awakened hmm. so it if i have to talk at that level based on the level which i got awakened and i i get say two individuals in front of me and and i'm 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 sitting in front of them and i'm saying that there is there is something which through which this experience of trains by 
trains herself or himself and get awakened into the, the whole idea and manages both the possibilities and create something unique for him to emerge. In the sense, he creates his own manifestations and, uh, and everything happens for example, the idea of, I should not bring that, but I, at the same time I can, I can talk about it. The idea of, for example, the idea of karma, hmm. right? Everybody is in the, in the, the clutches of karma. Everybody is uh, actually managed by karma. Everybody, everybody is driven by the idea of karmic uh, linkages and counter linkages and all this, right? This is what the, the, the common uh, perception. But I would even say that uh, the moment the experiencer get awakened, the karma falls in place. Hmm. The karma and the linkages of karma is all part of the divine leela and the game and the enjoy. It's a where I'm just becoming a witness where all these possibilities or the counter possibilities are there just for the sake of being there. And nothing is become will become so important because for me to make a, a tons of profit tomorrow or uh, build up an organization, all that will become uh, insignificant. It has nothing nothing to do with. The, the whole plan of things. It will become... Even this possibility and counter possibility or status quo and counter status quo has basically nothing to do with this. That's what it is. Yeah, absolutely. 